Hi, uh, this is more or less gonna be my first like introduction into the YouTube world. Um, my name is Kyle, I go by Osidious. You're gonna see a lot of content based on the mini truck here. Um, I'm starting off on an iPhone, but it's the 15, so hopefully the quality is better than what I would have had for you guys a few weeks ago. That being said, um, I have taken the liberty of installing a Battle Arrow uh, chassis mount wing on the back of a 1979 Plymouth Arrow. Um, why? To be honest, it's fucking cool. Uh, I'll, as well, I need a slight weight in the rear of this thing uh, if I'm going to be doing any type of tow racing or, you know, wetland drifting. Um, or waiting for the weather to come in so that way I can go burn, burn off steam, if we will. <laughs> um it's it's gonna be awkward it's gonna be my first time doing a uh youtube introduction and all that shit so you know bear with me on this a lot of this is gonna get edited out a lot of this is gonna be you know trial and error i guess without further ado let's go have some fun yeah I started this video picked up a uh, phone mount for the window um, it's gonna be shaky I have zero fucking balancing on this motor and the motor mounts have 300 K on it most likely because everything else on this truck does um, I bought this or I didn't even buy this truck dude I traded it for a little tiny boat um, that I picked up when I was living in Texas uh, moved out to Washington, live next to the ocean, have no use for a 14 foot boat. Saw this piece of shit on Facebook Market, and I was like, oh fuck yeah, I want mini truck vibes again. Um, in my past life, I was known as Big Automatic 
fucking Dodge Ram 1500, I feel all the brake erosion when I'm stopping.
definitely feel like I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm still learning, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's like opinion that just like sticks out, doesn't let you go into gear until you release it. Uh, well, that opinion is not always disengaging, so I can't jam rings into third. So you'll hear me sometimes do it. A double pump, and I'll try matching the revs and slider in. The fun thing about driving a real lower truck is you have to be one with the road, or you will destroy your undercarriage.
in front clip past the firewall. It's all things I, I plan to learn with the truck because it's already a shitter. I don't have to worry about it. It's not a show truck. Come on, we're going 35, we're going 20. there's opportunity here to reach out to people that haven't had the experience of someone they could talk to in the mini truck community that's on social media um <clears throat> but this is her in all her glory she's uh not the best as far as paint <laughs> she's got rust spots that they just painted over you know, and this is this is how she sits right now, front and rear. But it's not what we want because everything, as far as <clears throat> everything, as far as the um, front suspension is completely fucked. All my gaskets and grommets and um, everything is three hundred thousand miles too late to be changed out. I'm gonna be changing out wheel bearings and all that shit before I can actually trust this thing in a corner. Um, Cause outside of that, when I go into a corner, it flops to one side or the other and it doesn't actually have one fluid motion from left to right. You actually feel it like kind of flop on its side either way. So, you know, there's, that's everything to do with no rubber. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, Sorry it's awkward, sorry it's uh, my first video. So, you know, good luck to me, good luck to you guys on your adventures. If you guys wanna see more of this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, follow me on my other socials, man. Um, if you guys wanna be a part of my Discord and game with me outside of the mini truck shit, pff, do it, you know, it's in the bio too. So, peace out, love you. Um, 
That was a terrible outro. I'll work on that, I promise.